Our fourth race of the day is the Hyde Novices Hurdle, over two miles and five furlongs. So, number one, Barrel Blaster for Leon Van Rensburg. Two, Sepp Blatt, so trouble for Alex Cherry, winner last time out. Chan Point for Darren Thompson, uh, won his last two, looking for a third. Domino Duchess for Craig Allen, Light of My Eyes, D. Hooley, also a winner last time here. Arlington Killer for Vinnie Jarrah, Daring Knight for Craig Beckwith, Prophet's Passion for David Hooley, Taura Maximus for Paul Rhodes, Theory of Everything for Joshua Sutherland, Artis and Tales for Darren Thompson, Boxside Ballon for David Robertson, Overcast Ransom for Thomas Rogers, along with Spritzer Catherine, and Shaw Shanghai. Craig Allen brings up the 15. Now the extended two and a half miles. Hurdle event here. Have 11 to take, and we're going to be led by Overcast Ransom, although Daring Knight wants to come and join him. So it's Overcast Ransom and Daring Knight that are going to lead us over the first. Both take it well, as does the remainder of the pack, although the great towards the rear out wide. Hemsley's Domino Duchess with a little bit slow over it. So it's Daring Knight. Takes up the lead on his own by about a length and a half from Overcast Ransom. Cut right in front of him there, Craig Beckwith horse. So Daring Knight and Overcast Ransom, there you one, two. And then we've got Arlington Killer on the inside, and the green silks out wide is Josh's theory of everything. And then we'll skip over the second, and again, this time it was sure Shanghai for him, as it was a little bit slow over that hurdle. And we're just losing pitch room, him and Light of My Eyes, David Hooley. And it's Daring Knight for Craig Beckwith that leads us from Overcast Ransom. We've got Arlington Killer, Theory of Everything. And Tower Maximus of Full Rose Champ Point for Darren Thompson. Out wide is Leon Van Rensburg's Barrel Blast of the Top Weight. We've got the Grey, Artis and Tarlis. And Alex Cherry's Sablat So Trouble. And we'll skip over the third, and they're just being followed through by a Prophet's Passion. Oxide Balloon. Out wide is, I think, Dominion. Dominion. Dom Dominion Duchess up against the fence is Spritzer Catherine right of my eyes and sure Shanghai just can't see at the moment the 3-4 and his daring knight brings him downhill here go past the grandstand and go out for another circuit so it's daring knight Overcast Ransom in second, Arlington Killer is third, Chan Point four, fourth, Barrel Blaster and Tower Maximus fight it out for fifth and sixth, and out wide is the grey for Darren Thompson, which is Arson, Ar Artisan Talis, running alongside Thero Theory of Everything, who's going to go wide as they swing left-handed here as they go away from the grandstands. As we know, you can lose a little bit of ground here at Cheltenham in this turn. It's Daring Knight, led, led us from the beginning. Overcast Ransom still in second, and Arlington Killer still third. Chan Point, Tower Maximus, Barrel Blaster, the other grey artisan Tarlis against the fences. Alex Cherry, so black, so troubling. The blue silks are in sleeves. Pushing through well now is Bogside Balloon. And they're followed through by Dominion Duchess, Theory of Everything, wider. Prophet's Passion, Shaw Shanghai, all in the second place horse there. Overcast Ransom, there were some rich sticky jumps there as they went over the six. Bruised hocks. But it's Daring Knight for Craig Beckwith still leads us as we come down to the final mile. So Daring Knight by about four from Overcast Ransom, Tower Maximus, Arlington Killer, Arsons and uh, not Peril Blaster all together, and then Artisan, Artisan Talis. We go over the seventh, which took that one a little bit better. But Daring Knight happily bowling along in front, looks comfortable as they go back uphill here, the highest part of the course. Start their run down. So with three left to take, it's Daring Knight from Overcast Ransom, Tower Maximus, Arlington Killer, and Barrel Blast all together. Chan Point won his last two races looking to get a three time up. Quite unusual in uh, starters' orders, so good luck to that one. But it's Daring Knight, still by a couple of lengths now from Overcast Ransom, Tower Maximus. Here comes Chan Point from the wide outside. Using a bit of a whip now is Arlington Killer to get in better position. Running on well with Sir Blasso Trouble out of the pack. One that hasn't done a lot now is, is Barrel Blaster for Neil Van Rensburg. 
whips out now and gives the horse a couple of reminders. But Daring Knight, not asked for anything yet, but he's going to get challenged inside this final half mile. It's Daring Knight from Chan Point, Tower Maximus, Barrel Blaster against the Fences Arlington Killer, moving really well on the outside now. I think he's light of my eyes, but it could be Prophet's Passion. I think he's light of my eyes, but it's still Daring Knight. Chan Point come alongside to try and challenge, but it's still Daring Knight leads by half a length from Chan Point, light of my eyes on the outside. Prophet's Passion still trying to run on a good jump there by Daring Knight. Out of the pack comes Boxside Balloon. So it's Daring Knight. Boxside Balloon running on well now. It's Prophet's Passion and Light of My Eyes out wide. But it's Boxside Balloon that takes it up. Here comes Prophet's Passion to throw down a challenge. Arlington Killer still running on. Running well on the outside is Tower Maximus. But it's Boxside Balloon and Prophet's Passion inside the final furlough. And Prophet's Passion noses ahead. On the outside is Arlington Killer. Tower Maximus is over it. Prophet's Passion didn't get over it well, but Boxside Balloon. But Prophet's Passion from Arlington Killer still running on well. But Prophet's Passion's going to hang on to this from Arlington Killer in second. Boxside Balloon was third. I think Chan Point got up for fourth. Whew. Big breath. So, a win now. And a good win for David Hooley. One of these late finishing Prophet's Passion. Marlington Killer in second. Boxside Balloon was third. Chan Point for Darren Thompson was fourth. Tower Maximus for Paul Rhodes was fifth. It's like Hooley's taken over Van Rensburg's late finishing horses. So a good win there for Mr. Hooley.